some that even know that like, actually I do have a degree and everything, right? They actually mentioned that like, my father spent much, so much money, you know, to get me through uni and then I come here and start a hawker business. Like, isn't it a waste? Even with a degree, I still feel like I don't regret anything. My name is Charlene. Uh, I'm 24 this year. I studied biomedical science in U University of Queensland. I run Chicago Lasnoma in Versace Food Centre. I intended to work for a couple of years in the science industry. Then I will further my studies, then you know, go back to the corporate world again. Actually, if you ask me two years back or like even after my graduation, I would ne never expect myself to go into the hawker route. The reason why I actually took over the store because I do see like uh, opportunities and also I see that my father has like a lot of passion for food and everything. He told me that he got a lot of recipe in hand that he really wants to try um, and pass it down. And those are really traditional recipes that you don't really find in Singapore anymore. So I feel like part of the responsibility of a younger hawker is that you can carry on the tradition, carry on the legacy that like you know the past hawkers had actually have. La. So my father used to open Sing Pang Last Nama store. 30 years ago. That is what also sparked my interest to actually start this again for him and for myself. Chi Coconut is a brand new store. Although we do base most of our recipe on Simpang Last we actually still tweak it around, make sure that like it still fits into the current generation's uh, taste. But we still keep it as traditional as possible. I also have very high expectation on myself as well. So I put the same expectation on this store. So I make sure that the quality of food and like the ability to keep up with like new items. That's what I want the store to be and I, in the future for any expansion, I will actually make sure that the quality and everything is maintained a certain standard. Compared to a lot of second gen hawkers, they actually run it a lot of nice, more hipster food, social media and everything. Actually, if you do realise that we don't do a lot of that, we wanted to do, go by word of mouth. So a lot of things we have to make sure that the standards are there and people start to recognise us uh, for good food instead of like very strong media exposure and stuff like that on like Instagram or Facebook and stuff like that. A typical day uh, working at Three Coconut is that I'll wake up at 4.30am every day. Then I'll reach at about 5. I'll open the shop at about 6.30. So um, between 5 to 6.30, we will actually do the rice, do the prep. The chicken wing that we always marinate the night before. So my father will actually come in to marinate the chicken wing. Uh, in like late evening, so that morning I will have like uh, already marinated chicken wings. And in the midst, I will marinate for the lunch crowd. So at about 2, we will stop all cooking, we will switch off the fryer and everything. At about 3, we will start to close. So 4 pm, the shutter will usually be down. After the whole day, uh, my dad and I will actually go back and then we will do some prep at home. Some of the struggles I have as a young hawker is that some customers do give us like snipe remarks about uh, us being too young and then like, is our food okay? They will question our ability in running the store. We don't mind that. I mean, after a while, we just get very, uh, very used to it. They do come back after, la, after having our food, so it's quite good. Yeah, another issues I face is that they will ask, they just started off like saying, oh, why didn't you want to go and study? Why do you want to work here? You want to go and study, get a job, work 8 to 5, it's better, better than I like, work as a hawker. I just tell them like, oh, it's okay uncle, I'm still young, I want to still want to try, you know, still your energy to try new things. Actually, I feel very blessed because when we were here, there's like a lot, like, we face a lot of problems. The whole week that before we actually open, we actually do a lot of like trial and errors, throw away like kgs and kg of rice, you know, figure out how to control the fire. So like the hawkers around actually help us with it. Supplies and everything, they give us their contacts, they actually help a lot. It's like a, like a very heavy kampong spirit right here. So since I'm alone in the store, like I couldn't run out to get certain things, right? They were like, hey, I'm heading to Sheng Shong. Do you want me to like help you grab? And I was like, okay, that's awesome. I feel very blessed to be surrounded by more experienced hawkers.